Now that our deployment has been provisioned, there are just a few things we need to complete before we can start adding users. In this video, I'll finish up the configuration of the new deployment, then provide a quick overview of our dashboard. As you can see in provisioning status, we have a couple things we need to address. So if we go over here and open our management pane, we can see our tasks. So what Itopia does is when there are things you need to take action on, we'll give you a task. Like the first one is we need to upload the SSL certificate for our domain name. So all we have to do here is open this task, browse to the certificate, and then we add the certificate password here. Then click complete. So what happens in the back end is we'll take this certificate and install it in the RDS deployment and then on the RDS gateway servers as well. So when you go to the website, you'll have a valid SSL connection. The next thing we need to do is add these DNS records. Because our deployment spans two different Google regions, we have two different A records that need to be added, one for each region. So I've gone ahead and configured this DNS A record and it points this URL to this IP address. So here, all I have to do is click complete and then it will validate that this has been configured. Now the next A record, again, this one is for the US Central deployment. The last one was for the London one. And again, we just configured the DNS record. So here we can see the task has been completed. The last thing we need to do is add our RDS licensing. We support all of the different RDS license offers. All you need to do is enter your code and enter your user account. This is just a demo configuration here. You'll have to acquire your own RDS Cal or RDS Sal licenses for your infrastructure. Click complete there. Now, if we look up here, see how this button is still orange? So this is saying that our deployment is still being configured. Now, when we go look at deployments again, you'll see that it's turned green and it's now ready to go. Next time this screen refreshes, this one will turn green as well. Now when we move to the dashboard, we can see the configuration details for our environment. The last thing we can do here is click complete. This complete is where you can actually edit your deployment information, add a contact name, even your website and email for this particular deployment. If you put in these addresses for the sites, these sites will actually show up as push pins on this little map. Then we have other, of course, advanced settings you could configure here if you're gonna do like a deployment with an AD trust. That's where we could make those changes. I'll just go ahead and click cancel, but that again is where you could add your additional details. Some other things I wanna share from this dashboard. End user connection options, different ways users can connect to this environment. And this goes through the detail on how you can find all of that. And then frequently asked questions. There are a lot of questions you'll have, and we have a list of the common questions here. If you have more questions, of course, you're always able to search our help center. And then here on the left side, just quickly, cloud desktops is where we manage our users and cloud experience. And I'm gonna have more videos that go into detail here. Cloud manager is where we actually can manage the physical VM instances. And so quickly, I'll show you here the physical VM instances that are supporting this deployment. So I'll have more videos on all of these as we get together again. But in our next video, we'll talk about how to add additional users to your deployment.